College student Ben meets his loser dad in a trailer park before heading to New York City. Later, he debates with Larry about whose dad will win in a fight. Chaos ensues when Ben's dad learns about this and tries to attack Larry's dad. Stick around to the end to see how their fight unfolds. Hello and welcome to Comedy Recap. Today we will give you a recap of the film Father of the Year. Spoilers ahead, obviously. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the movie starts off with two best friends, Ben and Larry, sitting in a car where Ben is anxiously waiting to meet his father. Ben's father, Wayne, who drastically appears from under the house through a small door and meets with his son and Larry. All three of them go inside the house and talk about how Ben was the smartest kid in his college and how Wayne wasn't invited to his graduation party. Wayne guides Ben and Larry outside and jumps into the trunk of his neighbor's car, which he has made into a pool. This act of immaturity made Wayne hopeless in the eyes of Ben and Larry. In the next scene, Ben and Larry are seen at a party to meet up with some friends PJ and Nathan. All of them are next seen at a photo booth taking pictures, where Ben is caught off guard by Meredith, who is an old friend of Ben. After that, Ben and Larry stood by a marine massacring a punch machine, and they started to discuss if either of them could fight that marine. The argument started to heat up when both of their fathers got involved into who could beat who. Larry implied that Ben's father was crazy, and that his father, Marty, could easily beat him up. Later, they go to Larry's house for dinner. Ben realizes that Marty wasn't any better than his dad after Marty got embarrassed by his younger son. But when he asked Marty whether he could take down his father in a fight, to which Marty replied that he would. The next morning, Ben went home and told his dad about it, which Wayne did not agree with. Later, Ben orders various stuff through an application called Postmates, expecting Meredith to show up, which she does after nine tries of ordering. Ben desperately tries to get her number, but fails. At the same time, Wayne is sitting on the couch, drinking and telling himself to calm down since he is angry at what his son told him earlier. He looks up at the wall and notices a letter written by his son when he was just a child that said that he wanted to be just like his father when he grew up. Next, Ben is seen sitting with his friends, enjoying and having fun, when suddenly Wayne called Ben and told him that he was outside Marty's house to fight him. Ben panicked and left as fast as he could in order to stop his father. Wayne rings the bell of Marty's house and Marty walks out. Later, when Ben and his friend arrive at Marty's house, Wayne starts a timer until he starts to hit Marty when the timer ran out. Marty fled off and both ran through the house up to the floor and went right to the roof. There, due to Wayne's clumsiness, he fell off the roof and fell on a bird shed that belonged to Marty's neighbor. In the next scene, Wayne and Ben found themselves in prison due to the crime Wayne commits. After getting out, Ben went to the neighbor to ask what she would require in order to drop the charges. The woman replied that she wanted a swimming pool built in her garden. Ben and his friends were forced to build a swimming pool. Later, they went to a store to buy tools and materials for building a pool. Next, we can see Larry going to his home, where his parents are waiting for him in a room. They invited him there and lecture him about how he was wasting his time thinking about going to New York with Ben, and that he should instead join his dad in his lab to work with him. Larry goes to the lab and learns that they are conducting experiments on male udders. Wayne, on the other hand, had applied for this experiment. Wayne went in for the experiment and met with both Larry and his dad. Larry and Marty were both shocked at the coincidental meeting, while Wayne failed to remember both of them. They continued the experiment and proceeded to apply formula cream on each of the participants' udder. After a little while, Wayne started to fill a burn where the cream was applied. That burn increased and Wayne started to panic and started to scream at Marty and Larry to help him so they fled the scene. Next, Wayne meets Ben at his house and lends him money to complete the construction of the pool. Ben starts his mission to build the pool when he gets a message from his father about him wanting to go to a wife race and for him having no wife, humorously asked Ben to marry him. Later, Ben, who became angry after this, started to dig harshly and unfortunately hits a water pipe below the ground that leaked water all over him. After the disappointment that had just struck Ben, Meredith, who stood by watching him fail, walked to him and provided him with a stronger digging machine. They both are later seen to be visiting a pond when Meredith came to know that Ben had never skinny dipped. She invited him right away to the pond to try it. Meredith and Ben stripped and jumped straight into the pond where after a few seconds into the pond, they started to feel something swimming around and touching their legs. Both screamed and rush out to leave the pool. Next, Marty is seen to be checking his missed voice messages where he finds Wayne's threatening messages to him. Marty flees the house in fear of Wayne. Ben gets the message again from Wayne about the wife's race and finally decides to go. Next, both father and son are seen at the race. The race starts where Ben lifts Wayne and puts him on and over his shoulders. All the competitors are seen to be harshly running through the race course and Ben gets hit by a guy in the competition who had issues with his father. Wayne, after an argument with the guy, decides to take over and lifts Ben. He runs through the rest of the course and manages to win the race. Larry later meets his dad, and Marty explains all the threats he has been getting from Wayne. Wayne and Ben, after their great victory, decide to go to a fast food place and enjoy their victory feast. Larry takes his dad to a friend who accidentally gives him the wrong drug, making Marty get anxious. 
Ben invites Meredith to a surprise event that turns out to be a prom night. Ben tells her that this was a promise that he wanted to fulfill four years ago, and both of them, after being rejected by entering their prom room, went into the alley, which was just outside the prom room, and started to dance and later kissed. Next, Larry and Marty are seen to be fully out of their minds, messing around and doing crazy stuff. Ben and Wayne are then seen in the next scene, cracking open beers near a lit fire and having a good time. Later, Larry comes up to Ben and tells him that he has decided to go to the Marines, where Ben congratulates him. Larry, when realizing that Ben is struggling with the construction of the pool, decides to sleep with the old lady in exchange for her dropping the charges on Ben. Wayne, after realizing that Ben was fired, decided to talk to Marty to persuade him to help Ben with his job. In exchange, Wayne offered Marty to beat him up in front of Larry, to which he agreed. Later, Larry is seen to be getting a haircut in a saloon where Wayne bursts through the window wall and the act of Marty beating up Wayne starts to go off. Larry gets impressed by his father and both of them walk out happily. While Wayne walks to Ben and tells him about how he managed to get an interview for a job for Ben, both father and son went to the company to get Ben a job. Where after a VR experience, Wayne starts to panic and go crazy. The interviewer laughs and enjoys the drama and makes fun of Wayne. Ben gets mad at the interviewer and punches him down. Ben gets respect for his father and both of them walk out happily. Later, both families are seen at a lunch party in Marty's backyard. Marty, after getting frustrated at his younger stepson for calling him out about just pretending to fight Wayne, decides to fight Wayne. Both of them prepare to fight and are seen running towards each other and colliding headfirst, knocking each other out. Ben and Larry decide to go and drink beer after realizing how stupid their argument was. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.